Fair play, that is actually very secure on it. One of the first jobs we want to do on RT2629 is replace this rear cross member under here. So to do that, what we're going to do is remove the rear wheels, which are going to have new tyres, and then we need to take the inner wheel arch out. And this cross member is made up out of three pieces. So there's two pieces of wood sandwiched between a piece of metal in the middle. Now, we don't know what condition that's like yet, so we're going to take that out and make an assessment. These are brand new works trousers that I've had on for this job that we are doing on the RT today. So they're not going to look like that by the end of the day then? Uh, no, probably no. not. <laughs> no. First time that's been off in a long time. Looks like we'll uh, need to make a new one of those as it's rotted away.
near side wheel arch is finally out. It's only taken us all afternoon to get the thing off the bus. Just the offside one to do now, and then we can get to the cross member and replace that. But that's going to wait for another day. So as you saw earlier, me and Tim removed the fuel tank from the bus. Now, this fuel tank has sat in the bus obviously for a long time and the previous owner had the bus 22 years and uh, it hadn't really run in that time so the fuel that's going to be left in here is quite old. So um, what we want to do is flush it all out and then we're going to clean it all up and give it a nice coat of paint before it goes back in the bus. So now we've got the fuel tank removed, we've got this nice big area here to work in. These are the, uh, the clamps that hold the, the fuel tank in and we're going to prep this area back to bare metal with the uh, needle gun and then this can all be undercoated and top coated before the fuel tank goes back in to preserve it for the years to come. So, as you can see, the fuel tank is now back in the bus. This has had five coats of high zinc primer and five coats of silver. Now, the reason we did this job first was the fuel in this tank, or what was left, was over 30 years old. Um, so that's deteriorated over time and it's gone quite waxy. So as the, the rest of the bus is in quite good mechanical order, we've drained the fuel out, we've redone the tank, cleaned it all out and painted it, and uh, got that back in first. So that uh, means we can move the bus around inside the unit and uh, it's on nice fresh fuel. So now we can move on to the rest of the chassis and uh, start the main work. So thanks for watching the first RT2629 restoration video. If you haven't done already, give us a like and subscribe to our channel to see lots more updates coming soon. As you saw earlier, me and Tim removed the fuel tank from RT2629 and uh, this fuel tank sat in the bus with the previous owner for about 22 years without being run. So um, the fuel in here is quite old, so one job we want to do is flush it out completely with um, our 
I am so unfit. So with the fuel tank removed, this leaves us with the area here where it, it lives in these big brackets that hold it in. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to needle gun this back to bare metal and then we can undercoat it and give it a nice top coat before the fuel tank goes back in to preserve it. It's finally out. It only took half a day, but we got it out. Just one more to do now and then we can get the, oh what's it called?